We have our uh, three Linux machines inside VirtualBox and set up in an internet where we have a client and a router on one LAN, Net A, with network address 192.168.1.0 and the router and server on a second LAN, Net B, 192.168.2.0. Let's have a look at ping, communicating between two nodes to test for connectivity and test uh, uh, delay. And so I'll use ping to communicate between the client and server, noting the server has address 192.168.2.22 and the client 1.11 and we need to go via the router. So I'll go to my client and we'll use ping. Ping triggers internet control message protocol messages to be sent, ICMP messages of a certain type. And the simple way to use ping is to specify the destination you want to ping, 2.22 in this case, on, on the client. And what it does is it starts this ping which by default every one second sends an ICMP echo request to the destination and the destination will receive that and send back an ICMP echo reply and for each second, each reply we get, Ping prints out a line here showing us some details and it keeps doing that every second. So every one second it's continuing, it's sending an echo request to the server and the server's getting back a response. And it'll go forever. To stop it, Control C. And when we do Control C, it lists some uh, statistics, some summary statistics at the end, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Sometimes we don't want to go forever, so we can specify a count with a minus C option. Let's ping three times to the server. And it stops, in this case, after three pings. So just looking at the output here, what is it saying? Uh, the top line is a summary of what's happening. We're doing a ping to 192.168.2.22. If we had a domain name, like we're trying to ping www.google.com, it would show the domain name and the IP address here. This is something about how much data we're sending. So what ping does is, it's not about communicating data, but the echo request includes some dummy data in it, and in this case, 56 bytes of dummy data creating an echo request of total size of 84 bytes. There's some header information. And then we send that request every one second, and in this case we get three replies. And a line was printed each second for each reply received. We receive 64 bytes from the server. The ICMP echo reply was containing sequence number one. The time to live, or TTL, indicates the number of routers we go through. In this case, the initial value was 64. Every time this message goes via router, it's decremented by one. So 63 means this message has passed via one router. And the time is the round trip time. The time from when my client sends until it receives the reply. So to get there and back, 0.276 milliseconds. Then it did it again and again. The summary statistics, number of packets transmitted, received, no packets lost, the total time it took to do that ping, and then the round trip time, which is these three values, the min, average, maximum, and essentially mean or, or standard deviation in this case. The minimum was 0.276 milliseconds, max 5.847, the average is calculated and a standard deviation. So we can get some summary statistics when we have multiple pings. Uh, some other options, we can specify the interval by default every one second. We can set it to send every two seconds. You see a slight more delay there. Every two seconds it prints out a result. So we can change the interval using the minus i option. And we can set the size of the data being sent to be 100. So send three pings, a count of three, interval of two seconds, two seconds between each ping, 
and the size of the data 100 bytes instead of the default 56 bytes and 108 bytes come back because it's 100 bytes plus 8 bytes of uh, extra header information. And there are other options with PIN. If you see the man page, you can see the many different options that PIN has. Uh, so PIN um, can be used to test network connectivity. If we can ping another node then or another computer, then it means we generally have basic connectivity with that or IP connectivity with that computer. So when I ping from client to server, I know I can communicate with server. Uh, it tells me on the path between the source and destination the number of routers I pass through based upon the time to live, the TTL. I saw 63, I knew that was one less than 64, meaning one router it passed by. And importantly it tells us the time to get from client to server and back, the round trip time. So it can give us some information about delay. So we use ping for testing network connectivity. Connectivity and, and measuring delay. Uh, 